Leadership and Accountability, Measuring Progress. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into an essential topic when discussing workplace ethics and values in the English-speaking business world, leadership and accountability. Our main focus will be on measuring progress within the broader theme of diversity and inclusion. By understanding how progress is measured, you will have a better grasp of the commitment of organizations to diversity and inclusion. In the realm of diversity and inclusion, merely stating intentions or setting goals isn't enough. It's vital to measure progress. By doing so, companies can track improvements over time, hold themselves accountable to their promises, ensure that their efforts are producing desired outcomes, Remember, what gets measured gets improved. There are several metrics that businesses use to measure their progress. 1. Demographic data. This includes data on the representation of different groups within the organization. 2. Surveys and feedback. Gathering opinions and perceptions from employees can give insights into the workplace culture. 3. Training and development. Monitoring how many employees undergo diversity and inclusion training can be a good indicator of the company's commitment. 4. Promotion rates. Checking how various groups progress up the corporate ladder can show if there's equal opportunity. 5. Turnover rates. If certain groups have higher turnover rates, it might suggest issues with inclusion. Leaders play a significant role in ensuring progress is measured. They set the tone for the company's commitment to diversity and inclusion. Leaders must set clear goals. What does the organization want to achieve? Provide resources. Ensure there are tools and training available to meet those goals. Regularly review progress. This includes having frequent check-ins and updating strategies based on data. Without leadership's active participation, measuring progress can be an uphill task. While measuring progress is necessary, it's not without its challenges. Some of these include varying definitions of diversity. Different people and organizations might have different ideas of what diversity means. Quantitative versus qualitative data Numbers can show part of the story, but qualitative data like personal experiences and stories are equally important. Avoiding tokenism. It's essential to ensure diversity efforts aren't just for show but result in meaningful change. And that wraps up our discussion on measuring progress in diversity and inclusion within the scope of leadership and accountability. By understanding these metrics and the role of leadership, you'll be better equipped to navigate and contribute to English-speaking business environments that value diversity. Remember, it's not just about setting goals, it's about ensuring we're making strides towards meeting them. We hope this video has been enlightening, and we encourage you to continue your journey in understanding workplace culture. Happy learning!